Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez, the Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation. And this foundation retails for $29 and you get one fluid ounce. So from a price perspective, I would say it's pretty good in comparison to what's out there on the market. I was really attracted to checking this particular foundation out because I saw a commercial for it and she had stated that she created Rare Beauty and this particular foundation because she hated the way that foundation felt on her skin. It always felt too heavy, too cakey, and it didn't feel like her skin and that was always my problem. Anytime a new foundation hit the market, um, I was really excited to try it because I like so many different brands, but I always hated the way that the foundation felt on my skin. There was something either wrong with the texture or the coloring was off, but most, my biggest gripe with it was that it just felt too heavy and it didn't feel like me. So I was really curious to see if this was gonna be the real deal for me. Now, the shade that I purchased was 400W, and I would have to say I went um, a couple of shades up from what Sephora had recommended for me based on my color IQ. If you were wondering, my color IQ at Sephora is 1Y10, so that just means the one part in the 1Y10. I have a neutral undertone, but I think my skin bounces between neutral and warm. So it was recommending for me to, or my perfect shade as 360W. And I just looked at the pictures and I thought it was a little too light. So I went on Shade Finder and I typed in a bunch of other foundations that I've used from other brands in the past and it actually recommended that I check out 400W. And I'm so glad that I actually went ahead and chose 400W because I believe that it matches my skin more than the 360 would have. So I've already had a chance to test this foundation out. Um, I've been able to wear it all day and I gotta say it is amazing. The foundation has this big doe foot applicator which i love and this is what the color looks like and it's super light and weight like i literally can't even feel this on my skin right now it feels incredibly light i like to apply this with a beauty blender now you can apply it with a foundation brush or your fingers whatever your personal preference is but for me i think beauty blender is like just the easiest way of applying it because it's no fuss no muss you know you can blend it out properly sometimes with a foundation brush you have to really go in there and make sure it's truly blended into your skin because you don't want to have those harsh lines so normally what i like to do is um you know prep my skin i don't have any foundation or anything on my skin right now it i don't have any primer on i have sunscreen on i have worn this with primer and without it works perfectly so i did also want to mention that i have normal skin and i tend to get oily in my t-zone a little bit during the summertime if it's humid out if not then my skin is actually truly pretty much overall normal the thing that I like about this concealer is that you can actually build the coverage. It's a true medium to full coverage, I would say. It covers my imper imperfections, excuse me, perfectly. And I just like to grab a couple of dots um, on my skin. And then I like to go ahead and just use the beauty blender to blend it out. Now I am going to show you um, one side with a foundation brush and this is just from La Prairie. I got it from a foundation that I purchased a while ago and I like to just go in with a dense brush if I am using a foundation brush and this is what it looks like for when you blend it out. So I'm just going to get a little bit closer so you guys could see. I think that with the foundation brush, it definitely provides a lot more full coverage, which is nice for you know certain imperfections, but I still prefer the Beauty Blender method because I feel like foundation brushes um, don't really blend out beautifully, or maybe I just don't know how to do that. But this is what it looks like with the foundation brush. Now, please excuse the lack of beautiful blending here but you guys could see that you know just take a look at my eyes just like how beautifully does that look like 
my skin color looks a lot more even and you can't even feel this on your skin honestly it's super light and weight it's just beautiful now this foundation is not going to give you a matte finish so if you like that then this foundation is probably not for you i would say it's more radiant and natural which i like um it has that subtle glow so that's also beautiful now I am going to go in with the other side and go in with a beauty blender to blend out the rest. And this is how the beauty blender looks. Or this is how the foundation looks with the beauty blender application method. Now I am going to go into the other side and kind of you know use the beauty blender over it because i just feel like i need a lighter amount of coverage versus the fuller amount of coverage okay you guys could totally see the difference right the foundation brush definitely provides way more coverage than the beauty blender but I actually prefer the beauty blender side just because I like to look more natural versus more full so I'm gonna actually go in and just damp my beauty blender on top and try to even that out a little bit now I will say I have worn this foundation with setting powder and without Personally, for my normal skin, I don't think I need setting powder at all. And I don't see it caking, creasing, or doing anything throughout the day. Honestly, it just sits on my skin like it's supposed to. And I have to truly say that I'm really impressed with this foundation from first application. Just the, the weight, the feel, my gosh, the color. That was the biggest thing for me. I was like, wow, there's no way I was going to like a foundation. And this foundation, I truly am going to say that I'm going to keep. I'm not going to return because I just love the way that it feels on my skin. And I'm just going to take a little bit that's left over from my hand from that swatch that I showed you guys earlier. And I want to just show you that it's so easy to kind of build coverage with this foundation. Now, obviously, if you want to prevent the transfer and stuff for when you're wearing a mask, I would say use a setting um, setting spray, setting powder. This, I, I haven't used anything with it. Honestly, I could walk out like this and it'll be fine for me. And I'm gonna take a little bit more to this side, just kind of show you guys. Now, I do like to kind of go in with the Beauty Blender for a little bit longer, um, and I am being as gentle as I can, just because I like the way that um, it looks if you go in with the Beauty Blender, just kind of continuously dabbing it um, gently, because it, it will look and feel like skin. I'm just gonna grab my neck a little bit just to make it look a little bit more even. But yeah, I think this color actually worked out really well for me. I definitely received compliments on my skin, which I normally do, but when I wear foundation, I don't always receive compliments on my skin because, you know, you, you kind of tell sometimes that the coloring's off and whatnot, but this blended into my skin beautifully, matches, matches my skin. It's light. I can't even feel it on me at all. It, it is just amazing. It truly did not break me out or anything like that. Um, I don't have sensitive skin either, so maybe I'm not the best candidate to, to talk about that, but I really have to say it truly works great with all of my skincare, and um, I didn't see any issues with it. So this is the final result. Yeah, I truly think that this makes me look natural, radiant, and glowy, and I'm 100% impressed with it. I am going to keep this. I definitely recommend you guys checking it out. 
if you are going to bite the bullet and make the purchase, probably go into the store, make sure the shade's right for you, unless you're a shade whiz and you know your skin very, very well, then maybe, you know, go ahead and uh, take the chance online. But I definitely recommend you guys giving this uh, a try if you like the natural radiant finish look. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed.